All right, let's continue. We've gone ahead and erased out and gotten some of the black back into what we're doing, but we still want to continue to make our rust more, well, rusty. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to change a few things. Now we don't want to overdo this effect, but at first it's going to look immediately like we've way overdone it. Don't immediately panic. It'll be okay. So, we're going to actually turn some of this uh, grime and weathered nastiness into actual rust. So, we're going to control click our sign and get that selection. And now we're going to get out of our layers and go to our channel box. And the channel box, for those of you who haven't been here before, basically takes the blue, green, and red channels and creates the full color channel we're going to add another channel and that's called our alpha channel then I'm gonna flip my black and white grab my bucket and I'm just gonna fill in our selection so we want something that looks like this now what we do from here on out we want to apply to everything so we're gonna go ahead and deselect our selection here so we just have this alpha channel and then I'm going to go to filter and we're going to use one we haven't seen before. I'm going to go to pixelate and choose mesotint. And we get this great big mess. We have one selection on here. You're probably defaulted to fine dots. We want to come down and get medium strokes. So we get this kind of line action going on. We're going to click OK. And that gets applied all over the place. This is where I talked about it seeing like we really overdid it. But it's, we're going to do some other things and it'll work out. But before we do that, we're going to switch over. So we have black on top. I'm going to grab my paintbrush. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to grab my number 39 scratchy brush that I like to use so much. I'm going to open it up. And we're going to play around with it a little bit. I don't care about transfer, I don't care about color dynamics, and I don't care about dual brush. I do want my spacing out here a bit. I do want my size jitter up a little, and my angle jitter up a little. And I'm also going to engage scattering. I'm going to bring this up something, we'll put in both axes, which will pull it back together a little. Now we'll separate it. That basically, when you just do scattering, they scatter north-south. Both axes scatters them in all directions. So that's not too bad. I bring that spacing back a little bit. All right, that's not too bad. Let's see what we get. I'm going to paint this in with black. Uh, my opacity is at 100. To bring that spacing up. Now, as you're painting these, basically what I want is my corners to look rusted and weathered. And as you're painting, you may look at the rest of the black with all of this uh, mesotint in it and wonder if that's going to look all right. It is. Right now it doesn't. It looks like we've got these giant black spotches. But we're going to back all this off. And then it'll blend pretty nicely. I'm using this scratchy brush because I want these edges to be really rough and fade between white and full black with some grays. So we might even uh, put in a little extra, maybe down here. That should be pretty neat, right? There. All right, we're going to go back to our filters and we're going to start fixing this. We're going to come down and we're going to go to noise and dust and scratches. We're going to set our radius at three and a very low threshold of zero. And you can see when you set that, 
that immediately this gets fixed. You know, I might even go with a radius of two. Basically, the black areas in here are going to turn rusty. Because of our selections, all this won't be rust. But we'll make use of this selection later. So you just have to kind of decide on your own personal taste how much you want sitting out in here. So we got two and three. This looks pretty good. We have some good fade. Got some good spots in the middle. If I do it at three, I lose a lot of that. So I want these. Don't worry about that. And we're going to say OK to it. Now we're going to do one more filter with our alpha. Go to our filter gallery. And this time we want brush strokes. Close this up. And we want spatter. Radius of 13, 14, something like that. You can play with it a little. And smoothness of 8. We don't want to push that too far. And we don't want it looking like this. So somewhere right around the middle where we get some nice blacks and grays and whites. And we'll say OK. Now what we've essentially done is created an alpha map. And what an alpha map does is when we get back to our layers, it'll say use this to decide where you're going to put stuff and where you're not allowed to put stuff. So that'll really help us out. All right, we're going to go back. We're going to turn this on. RGB, which brings all these up. This weird red is our alpha channel going, hey, this is this is where I'm black and I'm alphaing everything out. So we're just going to turn that off for now. Go back to our layers. And we've got all our creamy goodness right here. So now we're going to take that rust layer that we set up and we're going to turn that back on. Ooh, nice. Now we're going to go back to our channels tab. And we're going to control select this so we get all this going on. I'm going to go back to my layers on my rust layer. And you can see now by our selection, these won't matter so much because our rust layer only encompasses this sign. But we can see we have the little flex in here. And then we have the area up at the top and these corners that are heavily selected. So now we're going to hit delete. Boom. And if we hit Control D, we have some pretty nice rust going on here. All right, we're a few layer styles away from being done. So we're going to go ahead and double click on our rust layer, bring up our layer styles. And the first thing that we're going to add in is some inner glow. Okay. We want our opacity to 100. We want our blend mode to be on multiply and our noise to be at zero. Now you can see I've already got the color selected in here that was on our thing. 412608, our thing, our document. So we're okay with that color. I want my choke at zero, but the size at 24. And we'll click OK. You see we're starting to get a really nice look in here now. So let's bring that back up. And we're also going to add in an outer glow. And again, you can see I already have this color selected. 372107. That's the beauty of uh, working this stuff out before I record it for you. This blend mode we want on darker color. An opacity around 50%. I hit 52 when I slid it over there. And a noise around 10. I ended up right around 11. Give or take a couple isn't going to matter. Technique softer is fine. A spread of 9 and a size of 27. And if we look over, we can see what that's doing. It's giving us that kind of pre-rust look where the paint's starting to go. So this is a very realistic rust and works out really nicely. So we can accept that. 
Now last but not least, we have this wonderful rusty sign, but we have this beautifully clean metal, which seems kind of bizarre. So I'm going to come over to my clone tool with a decent sized brush, probably around the size of the dot in the center there. And I'm going to go ahead and hold down Alt, which lets me sample, and I'm going to find some of my rust samples click and then when I come out here you can see that I get a little bit of stuff now the problem is if you see me sample if you look where I sampled before you can see the little cross so the cross moves around with my painting so when I get to an edge like this it's gonna just stop doing anything see so I'm gonna sample from a few different areas and just kind of build this up maybe up here take some from over here I don't want to just like sample here and then paint right here because then it's gonna look a lot the same I want to mix it up a little bit And it's going to look really blotchy. Don't worry about that. And for now, we'll just do these couple. So we've got this really nasty, blotchy look going on. So now let's grab our wonderful eraser tool. And we've got our little scratchy brush from before. And bring up the size of this a little bit. I've got a low opacity. I might raise that up a little bit just for the sake of time. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to reshape these a little bit. I won't spend a lot of time on it. Just you can kind of see what's going on. Mm, I should get rid of those. There we go. Reset on me. Which is why it's not erasing as quickly as I would like. bring that back. Now this should start to really wipe some of that out of there. When it's scattering like that you may not even need to get that close to get some of this edging out. But take your time, play around with different brush brushes erasing this and you're pretty much done. Now, there is one thing left you can do. I'm not going to do it on this video because it's something we've done before. You could create some screws and you could go through the process that we used to create this rust to add a little bit of rust to them and place them in here. So I'll offer that up as a challenge to you. And other than that, this will mark the end of this course. Thanks for spending the time with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned some new things. I'll see you next time around. Thanks again.